why when we come to the temples, we offer to the Lord with the incense, also we offer flowers as well as light. What is the reason? Not only you, around the world, any tradition, Theravada, Mahayana, Vajrayana, all of temples, our devotees go to temples, these three things mainly offer to the Lord Buddha. Why? You know, incense symbolizes the in incense symbolizes a sealer. Sealer mean what? Sealer mean the discipline. Again, flower symbolizes meditation. Also, light symbolizes wisdom. Look at which I give a paper. It is also very philosophically design our greatest monks to these three things why we offer. Look at the paper, it is following eight noble path. You know what are the eight noble path? We call in Pali language Samma Ditti, Samma Sankappa, Samma Vacha, Samma Kammanta, Samma Ajiva, Samma Vayama, Samma Sati, Samma Samadhi. Look at the, which I give a paper. <coughs> this uh, we call good conduct, call sealer. Good conduct means when we offer to the Buddha in a sense, in, in, in fact, Lord Buddha himself said, Nati sila samo gando. It means highest smell in this world is sila. Mean the virtue. Another word, good conduct. Why we offer to the Lord Buddha? Why this? Even he passed away. Parmibbana over 2,600 years ago. Yet whole world venerate, respect him. Why? The reason is he has a lot of smell. What type of smell? His smell goes 10 directions. What are the, again, seal a good conduct. He has the greatest, highest virtue. While we offer to the incense to the Lord Buddha, you yourself say, Invenable Sir, you have a highest, greatest good, good conduct. Sila, myself, I want to be a, like that a good person. Another good person means I do not want to harm to myself any thing I do not want to harm to myself. Also I do not want to harm to others. That is called sila. Here eight noble path look at the good conduct mean right speech, right action, right livelihood. What is the right speech? Right speech means not to lie, not to say slander or gossip, that is the way we have to prevent not to say any bad thing to others. Any bad thing to, no gossip, no slander, no hard words, no empty words, we have to tell the truth. More than that, Buddha says, you have to speak what? When we speak, before we speak, we have to think, do I speak truth? My word is beneficial to others and myself. Again, I speak proper time, proper place. Those way we have to think. Again, Buddha said, Nela, Kanna Sukha, Prema, 
Premaniya Habyangama. Nela mean when we speak, we have to speak very pleasant word. Kannasukha mean the, when we hear to our ears, very nice soft word. Habyangama, when someone speak, we have to have a very calm in our heart. Premaniya, our words have to be uh, not only pleasant, affectionate word. Then this is the way Buddha, uh, more than that, in other says, uh, Premaniya, Habyangama, Puri, in civilized word we have to speak. So that is a part of the seal. Second is called right action. What are the right action again? We have a three doors. What are the three doors? We call kāika, manasika, vāchasika. I mean the physical, our body, again our mind and speech. These three doors we have to properly control. In other words, when we, our bodily, we, do, we must not hurt to anyone. Hmm? Physically, we should not hurt anyone. Verbally, we must not do. Same time, mentally, we should not think to harm to anyone. That is, we call part of the sealer. Then the third one we call right livelihood. Right livelihood means what? My dear children, you are not going to do work right now, in the future. Huh? Whenever you find out the job, you have to find out the job, again, not to hurt to society or yourself. In other words, not to sell gun, <coughs> drugs, alcohol, weapons, those type of things, we should not do that. Anything harm to the society, we must not do that. Anything harms something to you, should not do that. That is called sila, symbolizing what? Incense, incense symbolizing the virtue, that is the reason why we placing incense, burning, saying, Venerable Sir, you have a greatest, highest virtue. I want to follow that path. I never going to hurt myself, I never going to hurt others. By the way, you know the Thai tradition, Thai people go to the temples, burn three incense. Sri Lankan people are, hmm? I think Thai people are right. Thai people are doing three things, right? The Buddha, Dhamma, Sangha, three uh, triple gems, they offer incense. Sri Lankan people never think like a Hindu tradition, burn lot. We should not do that. Only three things is enough. Huh? So that is the symbolizing incense. Let us go to the flower. Flower symbolizes meditation, bhavana. Why? See, look at these flowers. These flowers, very beautiful way, nice way, decorated, right? When we see, we are going to be happy, properly organized. Similarly, our mind, we have to properly organize. Do you remember Sabha Papa Sakaranam Kusala Sopa Sampada Sachitta Paryodapanam Etam Buddhana Sasana? That is place also say not to do bad thing, do good thing. Purify your mind. Your mind have to purify. How you can purify? properly organizing, not to like a monkey mind jumping here and there and everywhere. So when we see these flowers nicely, this flower bouquets and all here, when we see we are very happy because properly organized. Similarly our mind we have to properly 
organized, not jumping here and there and here like a monkey mind. <coughs> we have to calm in nice mind. <coughs> Second thing is, furthermore, Sri Lankan Buddhist further go, what is they are saying? Puppang nilayati yatha idammi kayo tatayati vinasa bhavan. This which I offer, this flower, fed away, pass away, die away. Similarly, someday I also going to be like that. That is impermanent, subject to change. They are practicing that meditation also. So here flower symbolizes what is we call a noble path, uh, right effort and right mindfulness, eh? right effort, uh, right, right effort, right mindfulness, and right meditation. Samma, samadhi, samma, vacha, kamman, aj, vayam, sati, samadhi. Vayam, sati, samadhi, symbolizing, offering flowers. Then how do you offer flower? When you offer flowers, again you have to think, Venerable Sir, your meditation helped me greatly keep in calm and serene and purify my mind. Also understand in nature everything subject to change. That is the reason why I offer flower to Lord Buddha. Then the last, actually, our Sri Lankan Buddhist and all of Buddhist world offer light person. That is nothing wrong because same way it noble path also design. Samadhi is Samma Sankhapa, um, right understanding, right thought coming first. That is the reason why they are offer light first. Why we offer light to the Buddha? It is you see lot of uh, some sign in time also, we go to the temple, light and lamp. Why? When you are staying in dark room, can you see things as it is? No. What you have to do? Turn in the light, right? Then you can see the things. Likewise, <coughs> we need to wisdom to understand the nature, wisdom to understand the world. There are three ways, by the way, Buddhas explain to us, we get in the wisdom. We call Sutta Me Panya, Chinta Me Panya, Bhavana Me Panya. Sutta Me means learning, reading. Eh? Learning, reading, you earn a lot of knowledge. That is called Sutta Me Panya. Chinta Me Panya not only studying, learning, listening, you yourself get a new thought, new idea, uh, inventing new thought, new idea. That is also a great one. Chinta Me, Sutta Me Panya, chinta, Bhavana Me Panya, more than that. When you meditate, you get the highest knowledge, highest wisdom. These three ways we earn knowledge. So here we samma ditti, samma sankhapa in a noble path. Following that, we offer light to the Buddha. Why we offer to light Buddha? We say in Venerable Sir, I understand. I want to follow the, your path. I want to understand the, what is right understanding. Hmm? Things I want to see as it is. Right thought, I want to get a real, real nice thought, not to harm to myself or not to harm to others. I want to get a compassionate thought to my mind, like a, that is the way in other words, let it go, renunciation. These three things, I had to get a 
my mind. So these are the three things symbolizing offering incense. Let incense mean hadunkuru. Incense symbolizes what? Good conduct. Then uh, flower symbolizes what? Meditation. Med yes, meditation. Then the light symbolizes what? Wisdom. Very good. These three things, if you know very well, then you know why we offer to the Lord Buddha incense, flowers, light. So next time when you offer, remember, when you incense offer, when the bell says, you have a highest, greatest virtue, sila, good conduct, I going to be myself, I never going to harm to myself, I never make any trouble to others. When the bell says, I offer these flowers to your greatest, thinking your meditation, you are got full enlightenment through the meditation. So I want to be also calmly purify my mind, also understand the uh, impermanency. When the Buddha say, I offer this light to the Buddha, why? I want to get a, I want to be a wise person, a skillful person perfect, knowledgeable person, you have uh, that highest, greatest virtue, I going to get myself through. Thank you, children. Today, that is uh, first my lesson for you too, why we do this thing. Thank you.